Okay, looking at algebraic simplification, on this side, we've got adding and taking away. All I'm doing is adding and taking away. And on this side, I'm timesing. This could, this could easily apply to dividing as well, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. So adding, when you've, whenever you've got x add x, for example, that's like saying one xylophone plus one xylophone makes two xylophones. But look on this side, x times x is x squared. If you remember, if you, if you see another video, uh, x is the same as x to the power of 1. x is the same as x to the power of 1. Whenever the base is the same and you're timesing, what do you do in the, with the indices? You add these. That's why it becomes 2. So we can just really say x times x is x squared, whereas x plus x is 2x. So do not confuse these two things. Look in this way now. 5x at 3x, let's say you've got 5 x-rays plus 3 x-rays makes 8 x-rays, simple as that. Further down, 5x at 3x is 8x, 8x take away 2x, 6x. Now we've got two different groups, uh, two different letters, so let me group them up. You've got the 5x and you got the 2x there, but this, uh, the operator in front of the number is important. So really, what you should do is 5x take away 2x. Do not do 5x add 2x. Clearly, it says minus in front of it. So 5x take away 2x is 3x. So we've dealt with these. Now deal with the y. You got the 3y. I know it's positive because it's a positive operate in front of it. So just treat it as 3y. 3y add 4y. That makes 3 add 4 makes 7. 7y. And because I, because I never said negative 7, 3y add 4y is just positive 7y. So that's done. Next. Right, you might think x squared and the x term, that they belong to the same family, or they don't. You got the x squared family and you got the x family. So group up the x squared families together. You got two x squared plus three x squared. So altogether that's five lots of x squared. And then you got the x family on its own. So put that, it doesn't pair up with anything else. So just put that over here. So that's done, all of that is done now. So that's adding and taking away terms. To the timesing now, quite simply, as I said to you, x times x is x squared. Looking at the letters here, x times x is x squared, same as that one. And then one times two is two. You don't need to put the one there. Look, five times three is 15 x times x is x squared again. 5 times 2 is 10. x times y, xy. Simple as that. Right, this looks a bit confusing because you've got adding and timesing. Well, you have to think about bid mass. And that was in a previous video I did. So you've got you've got the uh, you've got timesing, multiplying, and you've got adding and taking away. All right. So top of the chart we've got multiplying. So we do this bit first. So as you've just seen here, x times two x. We did it here just a while ago. X times two x, two x squared. So that bit there transforms to two x squared and just keep everything, just copy everything down over here, just copy down everything here and copy that down here so now this question, this to simplify this becomes very similar to this over here this uh, right here where you had the x squared term and the x terms, two different families so we've got the same situation here so what I'm going to do now is look at the x terms first. You've got the x terms, that's 5x plus 3x. 
that makes 8x, done with that one. And you've got the x squared family, x squared member by itself. So you've got minus 2x squared, right, that's done.